Good morning and welcome to beginning the day with God for the Easter season on Wednesday, no sorry, Thursday the 4th of May. Our opening music this morning was Locus Iste by Anton Bruckner. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with Christ. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. Many, Many waters, waters cannot quench love, love neither can, can the floods drown it. it. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, <clears throat> passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. We come to this morning's reading, which comes from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 5, and we begin at verse 21. Paul writes these words. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, the body of which he is the saviour. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to be in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, in order to make her holy, by cleansing her with the washing of water by the word, so as to present the church to himself in splendour, without a spot or wrinkle or anything of the kind. Yes, so that she may be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hates his own body, but he nourishes and tenderly cares for it, just as Christ does for the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery, and I am applying it to Christ and the Church. Amen. We come now to this morning's reflection. A text without a context is a pretext, one of my tutors at Theological College often used to say. The context of the new life we have together through our new life in Christ is summed up in this phrase of being, subject to one another, in the love that Christ showed us. Each subjection is not about being superior or inferior. It is about placing ourselves so that we are individually and together under the influence of redeeming love, which is then active and powerful among us in all our various different relationships. In this way, whoever we are and whatever the dynamic at work between us, these can be relationships of mutuality, interdependence and intimacy, so that everyone is built up in godly love. Every encounter with another in Christ 
becomes opportunity for mutual, though often differentiated, encouragement and growth. It's not about competition, and it's not about hierarchy. Whoever I am, in all my uniqueness, I have an opportunity both to be a channel of grace to you and to receive from you as a channel of grace to me. Whoever you are, in all your uniqueness and in all the unique dynamic between us. The challenge is to be as generous as I can in my openness towards you and in my readiness to receive from you. It is the challenge to see every encounter as win-win, as we submit together to God's redeeming love. Amen. God of the living, by the resurrection of Christ, you restore your people to eternal life. Give us constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt your intent to keep the promise which you have made. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to you and all ages. To you be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.